Okay, so in this tutorial we're going to look at using another problem to demonstrate what we can do with a prolib, and also we're going to look at some tools and techniques for solving some slightly more complicated programs uh, in Python. So, let's look at the task that we've got here. Write a program that works out how many times a certain letter appears in a particular piece of text. So, first thing we need to do is create a piece of text. And then inside that piece of text, we're going to load a value. So, Mary had a little lamp. And the task that we've set us up is to write some code that works out how many times a particular letter appears in this piece of text. For instance, say the letter A. If we look at this, we can see the letter A appears one, two, three, four times. So, how are we going to approach solving this problem? Well, if we approach it in a sort of methodological way, we would need to start at the first character in this piece of text, see if it's an A, start the next character, see if it's an A, and so on, keeping count of how many times we come across the character A. So, quite obviously, we need to repeat a process starting at the first character of this piece of text and ending at the last character. That's kind of a problem that lends itself to the use of a for loop. What we also need to know is one way in which text is stored inside of Python. Now remember, another word for text is a string. And the way in which it's ordered within Python is that the string is made up of individual characters. Now the character in this position here is actually character 0. This then is character 1 and 2 and 3 and so on. So strings, the first position in Python, the string position is zero. So what we're going to need to do now is create a for loop. Again, we need a control variable. We're going to use i in range. We need to start at zero, and we need to go up to the last character in the string. So remember, we start at zero. So that's character zero, one, two, three, four, because we've got to count the space. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So, there are 21 characters in this string. Remember, Python needs to know the number that we want to stop at here. We're then going to introduce the colon, which will force us down onto a new line. So, we've now got the loop set up. What we need to do next is we need to check each individual character to see if it is indeed the character that we're looking for. In order to do this, we need to use an if statement. Now, we need to check each individual character of this piece of text. Now, the text is a string, a series of characters, and each character belongs in a specific position. And we can reference that position using an index. That index goes inside a set of square brackets. And the index that we want to use is the value currently in i. Because first time round the loop, i will be 0. That's that position there. Next time round the loop, i will be 1. That's that position there. Then 2, which would be that position there. And so on. So we need to check if the text in position i equals, it's the same as, the character that we're looking for. In this case, the letter a. So, is the text in position I the same as, equal to, the character A? If it is, then we found an occurrence of that letter. So, we need to keep some sort of count going. So, we're going to introduce a variable called count. I want to say count equals whatever is in count plus one. We add one to it each time we find a matching letter. Finally, hopefully, all we need to then do is print whatever is in count. So, let's just recap. We've got this variable called text that contains the string Mary had a little lamb. And then we're going to loop round for each character in this piece of text. We're then going to check to see if the current character in the text variable is equal to the character that we're looking for. And if it is, we're going to add 1 to the count. Once it's finished executing this loop here, it'll drop down to here, and hopefully it'll print whatever is in count. So, 
let's see what happens when we run this program. Ah, okay. So we've got an error. Don't dismiss this straight away. Read it because it will often give you a clue as to what the error might be. It says name error. Name count is not defined, and it's highlighted the line of code that contains the error. So let's have a look at what we've got here. It's telling us that count is not defined. In other words, it's telling us that it doesn't know what count is. Because what we're actually asking it to do here is add something to a variable, but we haven't told it what this variable already contains. So we need to do what we call initialize this variable, and we need to do it before we come into the loop. So all we're going to add here is a line of code that says count equals zero. And then we can start adding things count every time we come across the letter A. So let's run the program again and see if we fix the error. So we run it and the output that we've got is four. Now remember, this is what we were looking for because A appears four times within this piece of text. So hopefully we've now solved this problem. Suppose we want to look for a different letter, then all we need to do here is replace the letter we're looking for, in this case, A. Let's replace it with H, run the program, and hopefully it's told us that H appears once in this piece of text. It does, because there's only one H at the beginning of the word had. Let's replace it with another letter. Let's say the letter T, run it again, and this time it tells us that T appears twice in there. So, let's just recap what we've done here. The purpose of the program that we had to create was to find how many times a certain letter appeared within the text. The text that we set up was Mary had a little lamb. We need to initialize a count variable and set that to zero to begin with, and then use a loop to start checking each individual character of the string. And we have to start at position zero, because string start at position 0, then position 1, 2, 3, and so on. We then have to check each letter in turn, making reference to the variable name text, and using the index to pick out each individual character within that string of text, and compare it to the value we were looking for. If we found a match, we then needed to add one to the count. This process would then be repeated for each character in the string, until we got to the end of the string, at which point we drop out of the loop, and then we print whatever is in count. And we solve this problem here. That concludes this tutorial.